If you tune into this video, you're interested in designing the life that you want to live in 2021. In this vlog, I'm going to show you how to custom design the life that you want to live in 2021. If you truly want to custom design the life that you want to live, you have to learn how to tap into the mind of your intelligent designer. Intelligent design is the theory that the earth and or the universe did not arise by chance. Intelligent design says that what we see today was custom designed by a creator, an intelligent entity. I personally believe that the people who experience the greatest levels of fulfillment in life are those who learned how to tap into the mind of their intelligent designer. They discover their purpose, what they were created to do, and they do that thing to the best of their ability. They discover their niche. They discover their charisma. They discover their purpose, and it gives them meaning in life. So what I want to do in this video is I want to basically give you four keys on how to custom design the life that you want to live. And each key begins with the word surrender. Key number one, surrender to the will of God. Surrender is not necessarily giving up, it's giving in. It's when you stop fighting God, when you stop wanting to have things your way, when you start getting wise, when you start realizing that he has a better plan for your life than you do. Surrender also requires sacrifice. It means that you're going to have to give up something. Most of the time, it means giving up your will and your way. And it's stepping out of the way and letting him step in. And now he can begin to do miracles in your life. So surrender your life to the will of God. Psalms 37 and 4 says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When you surrender, you start believing that God's way is best and that ultimately he will give you the things that you want and more. So key number one, surrender your life to the will of God. It will be the best decision that you ever make. Key number two, surrender occurs when you stop resisting the natural direction of your life. Do you know that your life was designed to go in a natural direction? I want you to think about it for a moment. You were born in a specific year, in a specific month, on a specific day, to a specific family, you encountered specific people and you had specific experiences with those people. All meant to mold you and design you into a unique, one of a kind human being. You're the only person that can offer the perspective that you've experienced while living this life. I believe that when you surrender to the will of God, God begins to show you how to connect the dots of all the unique experiences that you had. And he shows you how those experiences were meant to pivot your life in a specific direction. So he moves away the fog so you can clearly see exactly what he wants you to do and what he, what he wants you to accomplish in life. So I believe that we have to stop resisting the natural direction of our life. And when we stop resisting that natural direction, we can clearly see the path that he wants us to go and walk straight into it. Key number three, surrender is a letting go. Letting go of what's comfortable, letting go of what's convenient, most of the time letting go of what makes the most sense. I remember some of the most difficult but the most fulfilling decisions that I've made in life were decisions that didn't make sense at the time but it made sense afterwards. You know, so sometimes when you have to surrender to God, you have to let go of what makes the most sense. There was a parable in the Bible where a rich man came to Jesus and asked Jesus, what must he do to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus told the rich man to go and sell everything that he had and to come back and follow him. The Bible says that the rich man went away sad because he had great possessions. He couldn't give up what made the most sense. But if he would have given that thing up, he would have had so much more here in this life and also the life after. You know, so sometimes we have to let go of what makes the most sense. We also have to go of what's in our heart. Sometimes what's in your heart is more insightful than what's in your head. 
It's more important to be heart-led than head-led. And that is one of the benefits of surrendering to God. He'll show you what's truly in your heart and he'll lead you in your heart's direction and in the right direction. Key number four, surrender is the only place where you will find perfect peace. There is a God peace and there is a world peace. When I say a world peace, there is an illusion of peace that the world gives. This is where you have the job that you want. The world says you're doing good. This is where you have the money that you want. The world says that you're doing good. This is where you have the career that you want. The world says that you're doing good. This is where you have all the things that the world has to offer. And you can have all those things and still not have peace. You wonder why celebrities blow their brains out because they have everything that the world has to offer, but sometimes they don't have God peace. So what I'm talking about is a God peace, which is a perfect peace. We all have this hole on the inside of us that only God can fill. And when we realize that, we stop searching after what the world can offer us and we go to God to fill that hole on the inside of us. There's a scripture in the book of Proverbs that says that there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof ends in death. In other ways, there could be a path that you think that, that seems right, but it's actually the wrong path and actually it'll end in death. Death to your purpose, death to meaning in life, death to fulfillment, because ultimately it's the wrong path that you were supposed to take. So what I want to encourage you to do is to surrender to God so that way you can have perfect peace. It's a complete peace. It's a peace where you can lay down at night and actually sleep and rest. So surrender to God and you'll have perfect peace. In conclusion, I want to leave you with this quote. Most people spend their whole lives climbing the corporate ladder of success, only to realize that when they've reached the top, their ladder was leaning against the wrong wall. I don't want that to happen to you. When you tap into the mind of your intelligent designer and you surrender to his will, he will ensure that your ladder is leaning against the right wall. I trust that you got something out of this video. If you like the video, please like it, please share it, and please subscribe. God bless.